Sure. Last November became very symptomatic. I know exactly what those symptoms feel like. I know what my body goes through. And early on, the first couple of days or so, I thought maybe I was fighting off either a sinus infection or allergic reaction. Uh, but then again, I realized quite, quite soon thereafter, once I started having the high fevers, the chills, the body aches were a dead giveaway that something was not normal. So when after the outbreak of the virus, coronavirus, you immediately realized that this might be the situation, the illness that you had back in November. Yeah, it was actually after, you know, it became more widespread and more prevalent and people were talking about it here in the States that I thought back and said, you know what, uh, I'm not quite sure that I had the flu as I was initially led to believe. So how, how had your life been before the symptoms appeared? Did you Were you traveling a lot, having a lot of public schedules? Do you have an idea about when or where you might have caught, caught the virus before? Um, no, not really. I mean, I did not travel. I'm, before being in elected office, I was a big traveler. Uh, I've been in office now for two years. I had a, a year-long campaign before that. So it's been three years since I've traveled extensively. So I was definitely here in the States. There's no doubt about that. And uh, I was at a conference in uh, November. There were a lot of people there. And uh, that's almost positive where I believe I initially contracted it. That's I became symptomatic while I was there, and it got far worse as I left the conference. So after the outbreak, did you follow up with your doctor, with a physician, and you told them that this might be the COVID-19? Yeah, so after uh, everything became pretty widespread and prevalent here, we knew about it now, we knew what the symptoms were. I had been telling people that there's no doubt in my mind I had coronavirus back in November. Of course, people just kind of said, yeah, probably. Nobody really seemed to follow timelines at, at that point. And frankly, I had absolutely no reason to think to go get an antibody test. I don't think January, February, March, we even knew what an antibody test was. The, the part of the story where this all came about was I was just in my doctor's office for a routine physical. And while I was there, I kind of in passing said to him, you know what, you're taking blood from me. You think you can test me for the antibody? And this was only about a week or two weeks ago. And he said to me, I would love to test you. He said, we don't really have the test yet. I said, I can't believe that. This was, now this was probably, um, late April, and we had just started getting a lot of corona tests because uh, for the first few months, we didn't really have testing. They were hard to come by. So virus tests or antibody tests? Were- so, yeah, I was asking him for the antibody test yeah. at that time about two weeks ago. So he took it from me, and he goes, listen, everybody thinks they had it. It's psychological at this point. And he said, you're going to come back negative. He goes, but it takes about 10 minutes. So he takes it, and uh, while it was kind of doing its thing, he looked down at it real quick and he said, yeah, it's, it's going negative. You're going to be negative. And we started talking. And about five minutes later, he looked down and I, I saw his reaction. His eyes almost came out of his head. And um, he looked down again. He looked at me and he looked down again. He looked at me and he goes, you're, you're positive. He goes, you're positive. And I said, okay. I said, I'm not shocked. I said, I had it. So reaction, when you learned that he had antibody was okay. That was it. Yeah. I'm um, I- Reaction was okay. Wow, uh, it did. It wasn't shock to me because I knew what I knew. And frankly, my doctor said, "Listen, don't go out and change your life. You know, you still need to wear masks. You still need to social distance." And this is the part that you know I want to be very clear about. I did test positive corona antibody, and I believe that I had it in November when I was gravely, gravely ill, uh, sicker than I've ever been in my adult life, with nearly every single one of the symptoms. I never ever said I had an absolute certainty. There's two options here. Either I was sick in November. Uh, Option B is I was recently uh, positive, but I was asymptomatic. The problem with the more recently is that my test shows two different antibodies. Uh, It's the antibody that has IgG, and I believe it's IgM. IgM is the more recent antibody. IgG is the longer term one, one that's been in your system for the longer amount of time. And that's the one I tested positive for. So when you couple together my symptoms, when you couple together the fact that the antibody test was positive, when you couple together the fact that I have the longer antibody in my system, and there's no way anybody will ever convince me that I was asymptomatic because nobody I've been around recently uh, has tested positive. 